Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a lip monthly mystery box. This was originally $40, but I got it on sale and I paid $25 plus shipping. So I paid $30 for this, for this mystery box. The value of this box is supposed to be $249 or $246 worth of products in there. I used to subscribe to Lip Monthly, but then I decided that I just didn't like it. It just wasn't, it just wasn't for me. So I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten the subscription in a really long time, but I do still get emails from them. And because I still get emails from them, this one popped up and I was like, I've been, I've been really into mystery boxes lately. So I was like, why not? Let's just get onto the lip monthly mystery train. So here is the bundle. It's called the beauty in bloom bundle. So let's see. That's nice. Okay, so it looks like this. It says Lip Monthly right across here. And then on the top, it says LM for Lip Monthly. That's nice. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a box like this before. And it has this on the sides, just beauty products or, you know, stuff. And then it has a magnet closure. So this is a really nice box for storage. I am pleasantly surprised with this and then inside it looks like this wow I'm really surprised I'm not used to lip monthly being so fancy so we're fancy today okay so it says beauty and bloom limited edition and here is the card and then there is the products on your the products are on the back with a retail value as well as a description of each one so Let's begin. I'm excited. I didn't expect this box to be so pretty. They, they did such a good job with the box. Okay. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the Barefaced Bella Beauty Cleansing Facial Cloth. And it's by Marabella. Revolutionary quick drying technology makes travel easy. Okay, so we have this. And this retails for $18. This revolutionary super soft cleansing cloth features a smooth spongy check spongy texture that removes all the traces of makeup impurities on even the most sensitive skin types. I don't think I have seen this before. And let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Well, that feels different. It actually feels like plastic. And they're right, it does feel spongy. Is this reusable? It's gotta be reusable. So on this side, it has like a texture to it, and this side is flat, and it does feel rather plasticky, but it is stretchy. I am intrigued. Let's see. Um, how to use, gently massage a cleanser over your face and neck area, thoroughly wet the Bare Face Bella Beauty Cleansing Facial Cloth, and use to gently remove the cleanser. Rinse a cloth completely and allow to air dry. Mas machine wash in cold water if desired. Okay, so it's reusable and everything. I'm excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I love lip products. Lip products are my one of my favorite things to get. Lip products and eyeshadow. And I really, really like mascara too. The next thing is this and this is Nug. Cute but serious, natural and vegan lip bestie coconut lip mask. Okay, so this retails for $11. A gentle hydrating lip mask that is the perfect remedy for dry chapped lips. The luxurious cream formula nourishes your lips, leaving them beautifully soft and smooth. 20 minute creamy lip mask aims to transform dry dull lips to soft, smooth, bouncy perfection. It's made with all the good stuff and only natural and vegan ingredients, hydrating coconut oil, moisturizing shea butter, and energizing, pep and energizing peppermint. Use the mask to prep your lips for a flawless lipstick application or add it to your daily or nightly masking routine. It's like a little ball. I was not expecting Lip Monthly to do something fancy because Lip Monthly to me isn't fancy. But if this is... I wonder what their packaging looks like now. I need to look up some Lip Monthly um, videos. So we have this little tiny ball. It's so cute. And 
and safe to seal. We've got a safe to seal. I can't open it. The safe to seal has a safe to seal. Ooh, that smells good. So it looks like icing. Doesn't that look like icing? Um, yeah, it just feels like a nice moisturizer. It's nice and thick. So, and it smells really good. It does smell, it smells like mint, but it has a hint of coconut. That smells really good. Okay, I'm super excited about that. I mean, I'm not super excited about it, but I'm excited enough that I'm super excited. Okay, next. Next thing is this. This is the Lord and Berry Must Have. It's a brow fixer gel. Okay, so it's a brow fixer gel and this retails for $20. There's no way this little thing retails for $20. This has to be like a um, sample. If this retails for $20, that's ridiculous because that is so small. Okay, designed for hydrating and enhancing eyebrow definition. It's texture naturally tints the brows and tames unruly brow, brow hair. This brush on gel dries a natural to a natural look finish for instantly perfect brows. Um, okay. Why? I don't know why I'm throwing things lately or dropping things. I'm not really sure why. And I know that I'm clumsy, but for some reason I'm just tossing stuff. The next thing is this, and this is Bella Pierre Cosmetics Matte Lipstick. I do like Bella Pierre's bullet lipsticks. One of my favorite shades from them, from them is a shade called Nude, and it is the perfect nude lip. I wear it constantly that I'm almost out of it and I never go through lipsticks. I have so many lip products that it's very hard for me to go through a lip product, but I'm almost done it. It is such a stunning shade and I love how it feels and it lasts for a while for a bullet lipstick, so I'm excited to have another one. Okay, this retails for $20. This is a richly pigmented, richly pigmented lipsticks based off our favorite Kiss Proof lip creams, available in four flattering shades, formulated with nourishing ingredients such as sunflower seed and hojaba. Okay, so I almost dropped it again. All right, so let's, oh no, it's in the cap. All right, so there is the lipstick right there. It's a beautiful shade. I just hope that it can like be pushed back in. because that is beautiful. I will definitely wear that. That stinks that it fell out, but I mean, hopefully I can push it back in. Today I'm wearing that Fenty, the Fenty um, little four eyeshadow palette that I got in that mystery box. And it worked really, really well. My issue with it is that it went from like a subtle look to dramatic within like two seconds. I looked like I was doing an everyday look and then all of a sudden I look like um, Dracula's mother. Like, I don't know what happened. So that's my only issue, but it was it was very nice. Next thing is this, and this is the Manakadar Beauty Simplified Lip Locked Priming Lip Wand. And this is in the shade Joey. And this retails for $24, which is ridiculous. I have a few of these, but not this shade. And I'm go I'll swatch this for you because I do like them. But it's just so pricey for something like this. Mana Kadar's Lip Lock Priming Lip Wands are the perfect lip products to keep with you on the go. Formulated with built-in primer while the smooth application keeps lips hydrated. So let's open her up. I do like these. I'm not saying I don't like them, but... I just think that a price of of twenty four dollars for this this is like a this is like a moisturizing lipstick um, or a 
tint. No, oh, that's pretty. I need to shut my mouth before I say anything else because that's really beautiful. I do really like that a lot. Ooh, pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything else because I just shot myself in the foot. Okay, the next thing is this. This is by Hanalei and this is a lip treatment and it's red. Okay, lip treatment, Hanalei. Here we go, this retails for $20. Hanalei's, rip, Hanalei's red lip treatment uses pure cuckoo oil, which is known to moisturize and rejuvenate dry lips. Agave, is it agave or agave? Let me know in the comments below because I know it's wrong. And grapeseed oil provide high levels of antioxidants and help soothe and protect lips from harmful radicals. I used um, on my nails the nail polish that I got from the Dollar General. It is a gel based line and this has been on my nails for almost two days and I really like it guys. I used a deep red nail polish and then I put the gold over it and I put their top coat over it and it stays on really nice and I really like it. It hasn't chipped. I'm like pleasantly surprised. Okay, and I think they're like $2.50 each. Okay, so the lip treatment is a red shade. So we have, this is a nice size of a lip treatment. So we got this big Hanalei lip treatment, which I'm not mad at. Next thing is this, and this is by Nug again, and this is $4, and this is a charcoal skin detox mask. And this says best face mask for oily, acne prone and combination skin. This 97% natural charcoal face mask helps blackhead removal and promotes a clear, even complexion with less oil and shine without leaving your skin feeling tight and dry. I like face masks. I don't think I would pay $4 for this little tiny sample. Um, so I'm assuming that the full size is $4, but I could be completely wrong and this could be $4. But um, I do like face masks like this. This has charcoal, oatmeal, and tea tree oil, and I'm all for it, so. Okay, the next thing is this, and this is by Laritzi, and it's a long-lasting liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Nudes. Let's find it, okay. This retails for $20. A cult favorite matte liquid lipstick that instantly delivers long-lasting and intense pigment non-drying and water resistant so it won't disappear after an hour. Go ahead and swipe it on. I think I've used their liquid lips before and I wasn't like super happy with them, but I do really like their lip glosses and their lip liners. That's pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything on the wand. It's a, this one's a very, very thin formula so maybe they changed up their formula a little bit but there it is because I don't remember their formula being this thin it's actually really sheer as well but that I don't mind that as long as it will be able to layer up nicely sometimes if you layer a liquid lips it can get kind of chunky okay the next thing is this and this is a fierce and fine graphic pen by deuce or do this is either deuce douce or douche and I'm not sure but I don't feel comfortable saying douche but um, I'm not sure like how to pronounce it. These retail for $21. A deeply pigmented waterproof graphic pen that is easy to use and creates precise, and creates precise sharp lines. The formula glides on seamlessly without the hassle of tugging and pulling. Create various elegant eye looks, whether to be a timeless cat eye or a thin sublime line for a definition. All right, so let's see. It looks like there might be two of them, but I'm not sure. In the picture, I think I have glitter on my nose. In the picture, it shows two. I only see one. But I do love their packaging on the inside. I love this scarlet color. Scar one, this color red or orange is my favorite shade, one of my favorite shades besides a sage green. Okay, so here is the eyeliner. And let's see. So it's just a felt tip eyeliner. I do like this type of eyeliner, like the felt tip tip. I do like it where it's just a real long point. 
I love that because getting into the corner of your of your eyes is a little hard for me. I always mess up. It is bleeding a little bit. You can see how it's bleeding into my skin. But I always put eyeliner on after I put eyeshadow on so I don't really notice bleeding as much. But if you don't know, always store your felt tip liners upside down, like the cap facing down. That way all of the ink goes to the felt tip and it doesn't dry out. But I did hear that felt tip liners have an extra felt tip. Somehow you're supposed to use a tweezer and pull off the one felt tip and there's another one there. I haven't done that yet because I don't want to ruin my felt tip liners um, and it doesn't work. But I wonder if that's true. Let me know if you heard that. Felt, let me know if you heard that felt tip liners have an extra felt tip underneath. Okay, the next thing is this. This is the Highlight and Contour 3-in-1 Trio Palette by Model & Co. And this retails for $20 to $22. Oh, my Lanta. Is it cream? I think it's cream. Okay. Um, the Trio contains a luminizer for highlighting cheekbones, a satin finish blush for cheeks, and a glowing bronzer that helps contour and define. This retails for $22, like I said before, and that's ridiculous because this is so small. I do have a few products from Model & Co. I don't, or Model Co., I don't use them because they're in little pans like this. I've been wanting to try cream bronzer for quite a while and blush. I have some new brushes that are the... Um, fiber brushes is that what they're called and they're made for cream products so I've been wanting to try them so I think I'm going to try them out with this it's the only reason why I'm opening it and looking at it because I would normally put this in a giveaway but I want to see if I can use it with those brushes okay so the bronzer it's definitely cream okay here is the blush the blush is very sheer, and the highlighter has like a blue undertone. Okay, so there are the three products. They might be pretty for eyeshadow as well. I don't use cream eyeshadow very often, do you? Do you like using cream products on your eyes? I don't, I feel like it makes me look like I'm old. Okay. The next thing, there's only one, there's only two things left. This is a Hakari Matte Lip Gloss in All Naturel. And this says it retails for $15. Our mattes are so creamy and rich in color. Each color has a flawless matte finish. So is it a matte liquid lip or a gloss? Which one is it? I do like Hakari's glosses. I have quite a few. All right, let me put down my sweatshirt. I just ordered from this one company online. I found them on Facebook and I really wish I would have read reviews because the reviews are pretty awful. And I just saw these leggings and these shirts and they were so my style that I couldn't stop myself. So I ordered clothes and I'm really nervous because in the reviews it said they either didn't send the clothing or the clothing was really bad. So I'm really nervous. Okay, and it's just a regular doe foot applicator and it's a beautiful shade. It's right there. That is so pretty. That doesn't look matte. It looks quite shiny, but it is so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? I'll definitely, that smells good. It smells like berries or something delicious. It could be, I'm just hungry, but all right. And the last product in here is by Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and this is the 12 Color Pro Jewel Eye Palette. This retails for $45. Let that sink in. $45. Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are what, $52? 50, maybe $42? How much are they? $42? Um, so a Jeffree Star palette is $53 or $52. Bella Pierre products, this is 45, come on now. A gemstone inspired pressed eyeshadow palette, which includes nine shimmery shades and three matte shades for many different looks. These shadows are formulated with natural mineral ingredients that won't crease or fade throughout the day. Okay, so here are the shades, they're pretty. It's not a, 
it's not a bad looking palette. I mean, I wish they kind of would have changed up the packaging to be a little bit lighter so it wouldn't look so dark because it does look very dark. And I do wish they had a cream shade to put, I wish they put a cream shade in here, but I'm just being picky because I can. But, um, and I just, I feel like I'm being picky because a 45 dollar palette should be amazing. So there's one of the shades right there. See? No. Okay. I'm going to swatch the palette. Did anybody see Demi Lovato's performance at the Grammys? I have never cried so hard during somebody's performance before. And I've watched it like a hundred times. It was so beautiful and she has such a powerful voice and just the story behind the entire performance is was just it was beautiful really really beautiful and i know how she like i those words spoke to me i think that's what it is the words spoke to me i remember feeling like that okay so here is the palette these swatches didn't go very well. I had to like go over them a few times. To me, this is just not like an exciting palette. If I saw this in the store, I probably wouldn't pick it up, but I'm not mad about getting it. It's nice to have a, a full size eyeshadow palette in this box. And it's just not something I would normally grab for, but maybe I should, maybe I should grab these and try them. I think I'm just going to have to try to make a look with this eyeshadow palette and see if I like it before I actually tell you guys it's awful. From the swatches, I think that using this, you're gonna have to really work with it, but you never know how eyeshadows are gonna truly perform from swatches. You can see how pigmented the eyeshadow is, but you can't really tell how it's going to perform on your eye. So, all right guys, what did you think about this box? For $25 plus shipping, so for $30, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. And I'm not mad at this at all. I think Lip Monthly did a pretty good job. I'll definitely use almost everything in this box, which is so rare, because sometimes I'll get a subscription box and I'll have five items and I'll use two of the items. Um, but all of the stuff I'd use, and I love lip products, so I mean, I got a box that I would like. So the overall value is $240. The box itself, is absolutely adorable. I can definitely use this for storage or I can use this for some giveaways that are coming up. I mean, I just, it's so cute and fancy and I think they did a great job with the packaging. We received 12 products in this box. We received a full size eyeshadow palette, this Mirabella facial cloth. I'm very excited about this. I think this might be my favorite item. We received the Lord & Berry eyebrow gel. The Model and Co. or Model Co. Cream Highlighting Trio. We received the Manicadar Lip Locked Priming Wand, which is so beautiful. I mean, I love that shade so much. I'm really excited about this. I was like knocking it before I even swatched it, and now I'm like, oh, I can't wait. We got the Hanalei Lip Treatment, which I hear these are really good. We got a face mask by Nug. An eyeliner by Douce, 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 a Bella Pierre lipstick in the shade Incognito, right? Incognito, yep, Incognito. A liquid lipstick by Laritzi, a Hikari lip gloss, a matte lip gloss, and this Nug Lip Bestie. It's a coconut lip mask. And that was what was in my lip monthly. What is this called? Beauty and Bloom limited edition box. I would definitely purchase another Lip Monthly limited edition box. I wouldn't get their subscription box every month because I just didn't use all the products in there, but I would definitely get another limited edition box. I totally think it's worth it, and I'll make sure to link it in my description box. I don't know if they're still having the sale or if it's still available, but if it is still available, I'll link this box in my description box. If not, I'll just link Lip Monthly's website in the in my description box so you go check them out i do i did unbox their box a few times on my channel if i can get those links i'll put them in my description box then that way you can check out some unboxings for their actual subscription box and that is it for today guys what did you guys think about this box was it worth it was it not worth it for 25 dollars plus shipping which made it 30 dollars 
it was totally worth it in my eyes. But let me know how you guys felt. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was it worth it? Let me know. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.